Welcome everyone to the top four from the Wisconsin Regional Championship. I'm Kyle Sukovic here with Michael Pramalat. We have an interesting matchup between Michael Slutsky and Casey Smith. A Kling Klang versus a Garbador deck. What do you think is going to happen? Um, I, I think the Kling Klang deck is going to have a little bit of advantage. It's not your standard Kling Klang, right? Mm -hmm. It's Kling Klang with, it's like old school Kling Klang, really. Yeah. Kling Klang with Keldeo, Darkrai, uh, Really, the Keldeo is really what's going to be like the star of this story, I think. Mm -hmm. And he runs Tool Scrapper and Dowsing Machine. Right. Did so, find that out. Big cards for the Kling Klang deck against a Garbodor deck. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be whether or not he can find those Tool Scrappers. Uh, honestly, who goes first is a big deal. If you can get that first energy attachment and be one ahead of your opponent, that's going to be a big deal since both of these decks are manually attaching decks. So, I don't know. It's up in the air. Let's cut over and see what's going on. So, we'll have Michael on the left, Casey on the right. Uh, I believe Michael's from Wisconsin. Casey is from Illinois. So, these guys probably know each other. A little bit of hometown heroes kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, we've had some players travel from all around to come to this regional championship. You, for example, yeah, came from yeah. Virginia. So, we've had a very diverse uh player pool here. I know Isaiah who's in the top four is from Iowa. But uh, yeah, we got two guys who are pretty close to around this area. Trying to defend their home turf. Yeah. Doing a pretty good job at it too. Yeah, <laughs> so far. So here we go. Uh, they're drawing their seven cards here. They're going to get set up. Looks like our camera got bumped a little bit, but that's okay. We can still see everything. <laughs> Alright. And looks like Michael does have a basic. Casey does not. Okay. So He's have to shuffle in his prizes too. Yeah. <laughs> A little premature there. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Um, so, you know, going in as Michael, you're just like, as long as my tool scrapper is not prized, I could win this game. Mm hmm. Yeah, if it is. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I mean. I guess you could go, like, three energy Keldeo and just roll. You could, yeah. I mean, Keldeo's obviously really big against Landorus. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's got to either hope Casey doesn't find tools or hope Garbodor doesn't come out or hope that he can tool Scrapper away enough the tools to just shut Garbodor off because once, uh, once Garbodor's off, then you're okay with Keldeo. Yeah. So here's the flip. There's and here we go. And Michael's going to go first. Starts with a Darkrai. Cabellian Yaks on the bench. Keldeo going active with a Russian. He is rushing. <laughs> this is a pretty oh big yeah. turn. Uh, pretty fast turn, and he plays on a beach and draws up to seven. The only thing they could have made it better was an energy attachment anywhere. Yeah, uh, that's actually a very big deal. Oh, we got a Trubbish coming down with a Rescue Scarf. Big start. And we see some Switch. I think an Escape Rope. <laughs> and he's just going to beach. This is one of those situations where you're like, oh, thank God they put down Beach. I didn't have anything. I had a few of those. <laughs> yeah. Turn to Plasma Kling Kling, and here's an N. So, pretty decent start. Um, he just needs to get those three energies on the board. Just needs to power up that Keldeo. Mm -hmm. Maybe get a shift gear. And then, from there, as long as you can tool scrap her, as long as you can just knock out stuff, you just win. Yeah. Now he's definitely going to need some energy attachments. Uh, all of his attackers, they do take three energy. Knight Spear takes three. Secret Sword takes three. Uh, Cabellion EX can do 30 for one, but I mean, Steel Bullet costs three. Mm -hmm. So it's a slow build up, and then you kind of need to keep your energy in play. So let's see if he can get something. He does. There's the Dowsing Machine. Does he? Oh, he Ooh. uses it. Just going to go ahead and use it for a rare candy. Uh, heavy ball. He's going to get another Kling Klang into play here. Do you, what do you think about this move? Very risky. Um, he really needs that tool scrapper. Maybe if he ha even has it in the stack. You know, he maybe if he can just get enough of an advantage mm -hmm. early, then maybe he can do something. But I did uh, see there was a tool scrapper in his deck. Yeah. So it's there. Uh, he's going to retreat. Get the free retreat with the prism on Darkrai. Shift, gear the energy up to Cavalian, and, and do 30. 30. No. Why not drop six cards? 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he's just trying to rush Casey and try to knock out the Trubbishes as soon as he can. Maybe. Maybe he's trying to bluff into saying, hey, my hand, my one card's a supporter. You should. It's okay to end me, I guess. I don't know. That yeah, could work, too. Yeah. I think he realizes it's kind of not a great matchup if your opponent gets Garbador out. So that Garbador does have a rescue, or the Trubbish has a rescue scarf. So he's going to try to knock out this first Trubbish. And then when he knocks out the Garbador with the rescue scarf, if he doesn't have another Trubbish on the field, he can't evolve right away. Right. And another thing is, it's not like his opponent can just go Landorus at this point, right? Maybe he can. <laughs> well, maybe he can. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I hope he has a Garbodor. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, if the Kling, if the Kabalian gets the three energy, draw a catcher, things could go south very quickly, even with that rescue scarf. We do have a Bianca for two, three. Eh. Uh, don't see a Garbodor. Uh, I see a level ball. That's not going to help him. It will get him another Trubbish, though. Uh, what, what, what? What's going on? Uh, he's retreating. He could still hammerhead hit a Darkrai or a Keldeo for 30. That's true. You may want a garbage collection instead. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to see 30 damage onto one of either the Darkrai or the Keldeo. Just attaches and does 30. Uh, <laughs> and Casey's being introduced to Plasma Steel. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. has a pretty good effect. Yeah. So here... We're going to see a Tropical Beach for six, it looks like. Since so doing 30 to Landers makes no difference. Oh, yeah. Um, and now what we see here, even if he gets the Garbodor out. Yeah. Well, catcher 100 is pretty good. Pretty darn good. All right, we do have a Skyla, so it's going to come out this turn. Uh, I assume there's a heavy ball in there at yeah. the very least. Gets the Garbodor. So now he can hit the Cabalion. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, maybe that 30 damage doesn't matter. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, the first one really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This one matters since he could land his judgment next turn. Yeah. And the game for Casey's going to have to be targeting down the energy. If he can just wipe them all out, I mean, he's going to win. That's just... Oh, that's, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's nothing else about it. Oh, Tool scrapper. <laughs> Talk uh -oh. about opportune time. <laughs> uh, that lander is going down this turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, dual scrapper. <laughs> Rush in. Shift gear. This is ridiculous. Wow. We're seeing, we're seeing some crazy stuff so far here. Now, that is the only one that Michael plays. I, I'm very sure about that. Someone told me one tool scrapper, one dowsing machine. He's going for the Garbodor. What do you think about this? Well, maybe he's just do, doing Skyla now, so he can have the catcher later, and the next turn he can play a supporter. Maybe. I don't think he should go after okay. the Garbodor. So, yeah, he's going to rush in and shift gear the energy to his Caldeo. Yep, two Secret prizes. Sword, it'll do 90 times 2, which is just enough to knock out that Lander's EX. Oh, yeah. Strong opening from Michael. Yeah, and Casey, he's on the back foot here. I mean, he lost all of his energy, but hey, Mewtwo's like, what's up? Yeah, and there's another tool. Another so rescue scarf. If he can maybe defensive catcher, he'll be in good shape. You know, if he can, let's see, there's, there's not enough for him to pull off a knockout this turn, but even just X-Ball here is pretty big. Well, you know, um, maybe you go with a catcher. I think I think he has a defensive catcher here. Uh, well, he can use X ball for 100. The abilities are shut off, so he can't shift energy anywhere. It's, I mean, it's going to be two hit knockouts, and that's definitely where he's going to come out on top. He plays I mean, a tool on the Mewtwo. Now, it's a giant cape, yeah. This could be interesting because, like, if Casey or rather Michael, we know he has a catcher, so he's just going to catch up the Garbodor. Yeah, and I don't know. He's going to be able to attach another energy to, like, the Cobalion. Uh, and All right. The problem is, though, he's only doing 90. That's true. So he cannot actually knock out the Garbodor this turn. Uh, he's going to catch it out, though. Is he going to commit another energy? If he has, yeah, he has the third prism. Maybe uh, you just build up a Night Spear. Yeah, I guess. He would have to have another switch. 
to get out of this. That's true. If Casey does not have a switch, then Michael's going to be in great shape. Uh, if he does, he's going to be in horrible shape. He's going to lose mm -hmm. all three energy on his Keldeo. That's, I mean, Garbodor's still in play. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that dowsing machine was huge. Uh, like, losing that that early. You kind of, like, just have to realize that this matchup is just going to be dowsing machine and uh, tool scrapper. All right. What's going to go on here, too? Um... All right. Um, well, we have an N. Mm -hmm. And maybe if we can... It's such a tough position. Yeah. You know, if Casey just draws switch, the game might be just done. It's yeah. Really tough. Uh, what do you think about that end there? I mean, you just gave Casey six fresh cards. Uh, I don't know. Skyla. I think I think we're gonna go on the. Uh. <laughs> it's not over quite yet. No, right. it's not over yet. Like, if he can stall out for a little bit, build the dark rye. If his dark rye doesn't get captured by the Mewtwo, then we can maybe see some like a double knockout. Yeah. Because remember that Trubbish has thirty. The Garbodor's at ninety. If he Night Spears, then he'll be in good shape. However, he's losing two Prism Energies here. Right, that's what I was going to bring up. He's only got four of those. He need two to Night Spear. So I like what he's doing here. He's going to push up the Cabal and EX. Uh, Mewtwo has two Double Colas on it. You can use Righteous Edge, does 30, discards a special energy. Kind of knock that Mewtwo down a peg. Yeah, you, you really need to just put that Mewtwo back in, back in line. Yeah. And at some point, he can catch her and do 30 to knock out Garbodor. Mm -hmm. So not all is lost, but it's a, it's a little uh, it's a little shaky right now for yeah. Michael. But he does have an end. Yeah. So any, you know, Michael's the guy who's been playing a lot of cards. His deck is getting thinner and thinner. Casey, kind of just sitting back. Mm -hmm. uh, his deck's pretty big. End's going to hit him pretty big. Like, I, I don't... Um, I think Michael might have the advantage with this Cabalion hit. Yeah, I mean, uh, that discard on the energy is huge. Mm -hmm. Since you do resist Psychic, x only going to be doing 40 when there's three energy between you. Uh, that's nothing. So, I don't know. It's going to hit for 30, discard that double callus, and we'll see. I mean, that's kind of an even board almost. Yeah. Well, uh, we do have Verbank Laser. From Casey, maybe coming in. Yeah, that is the difference maker. There's the Verbank. There's the laser. And. Alright, he's not as good as Isaiah with those. Yeah. But a laser's pretty big here. Uh, gets tails on the sleep flip. Gonna have a chorus for five. Uh, since there are five benched Pokemon between them. Mm -hmm. He's so, gonna need another Pokemon at some point. This yeah. Mewtwo can't do it alone. Well, maybe it, it it can do pretty well. Um, <laughs> the Cabalion has 30 on it. It's going to take another 40 if he attaches. That's another... F it'll, be, it'll be at an 80. And then laser damage. It can add up. Yeah. Maybe we can maybe take care of it. We'll see. I think that's another rescue scarf in Casey's hand. That's a big card. Uh, if he can get that on that other Trubbish. That's going to make it so pretty much he'll have abilities locked the rest of the game. Since... Mm -hmm. His Garbodor does have that Rescue Scarf. So when it gets knocked out, goes back to his hand. He'll already have a tool on his Trubbish, and then he can just replay the Garbodor. Well, think about this. Casey just played down Landorus. Mm -hmm. So what Michael can do, maybe he can get a Night Spear off. Take, knock out both the Garbodor and the Trubbish. Yeah, that's huge. Two prizes. Then he's going to have one turn of powers. Then you Keldeo the Landorus for game. Yeah, it could definitely work out like that. He needs to draw his fourth prison, though. That's the big factor. And oh, another DCE. That's hitting for 80 here. Oh, yeah. We're just going to hit that Cabalion up to 110 plus 30. That doesn't really do any significant math, I don't think. But uh, it, it makes looks you feel good. It makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah. Going to make it so that Mewtwo is going to be able to attack pretty much no matter what. Oh, yeah. So... 
Now, you know, this energy is going to... Ooh. ooh, max potion. Very okay. nice. So he's going to decide to do that instead of going for the power-up Darkrai strategy. Mm -hmm. And I think for the moment, that's what he has to do. He can't even do the power-up Darkrai strategy until he even finds that second prism to begin right. with. Right, right. So, you know, that's... It's acceptable. All right, something we need to think about is... All right, Micah runs Keldeo and Darkrai. Does this mean he doesn't play Switch? I was thinking that. You know, he might just... That... Uh, Cobalion just might be stuck there until he can... Not even gets that. knocked out. If your Kling Kling gets catchered out, he could just sit there and hammerhead you forever. Yeah, I, I mean... It, if... Yeah, so like if, if Cobalion gets knocked out... And then you catch her up Clang Clang, you just win. Pretty much. Yeah. So, so, very good position for Casey right now. If Michael doesn't play Switch, I don't know. Uh, usually when you play Caldeo and Darkrai, you don't really need Switch. Right. Because you can just rush in and get out of status effects. And when your Clang Clang gets catched up, you just rush in. But I don't know. Do have another Righteous Edge for 30, discarding another double colorless. And now Casey's going to be the one shifting gears here and attached to his Landris. And, yeah, and now he has a Rescue Scarf in his hand. He has a Tornadus. Okay, puts that on Trubbish. Definitely the right move. Mm -hmm. And now, once he deals with the... Honestly, he could just even just do it now if he wanted to, if he gets a catcher, if he realizes this opportunity... That yeah, is presented with them. I mean, it is pretty risky because if your opponent does play switch, then they just get out of it, and they pretty much get a free shot at you. But uh, if he doesn't have switch, you just kind of win. Mm -hmm. I but think it's just, relatively safe. He's just gonna hammerhead and hit, just let the poison damage add up, hit the dark right, and hope that it works for the best. So now what we see here is we see he has catch. You might have to like. Ah, this is so tough. I, I'm not really sure what he needs to do here. Like, he might need to catch her up the Mewtwo, attach the Dark Cry, and then get rid of the DCE. I don't know. He's got to find something to do here, though. I mean, if this board just stays the way it is, uh, it's not going to work out well for Michael. That's for sure. No, it's just... not. Like. You know, this is the position where, like, if he had the dowsing machine, yeah, get rid of both rescue scarves, just go crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he played that on turn two to get another clink clang into play. Uh, that's definitely a card you have to conserve in this matchup. He's going for an end with his Skyla, deciding to grab that instead of... Uh, I saw a max potion, he could have done that again. Maybe healed his Cabalion again, but he's going for an end, he's... Realizing his Cabal is going to get knocked out, he's probably going to power up Dark right here. I think you have to. I think yeah. you bench the Keldeo, you power up Dark Rai, and you just go. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it seems like if Casey just draws energy every turn, he'll probably win. But uh, Michael is going to catch up Mewtwo. And we'll see where he puts this energy for the turn. He's going on Clink Clang. What's he thinking with this? Well, maybe he thinks he'll steal bullet something. Yeah, I think it's uh, 70, and then if you hit heads, it's 22 bench Pokemon, so it could catch her the Trubbish? Yeah, well, maybe maybe it's like this. Maybe it's, hey, I know my fourth Prism is prized. That could be it, too. So, I can't Night Spear. I mean... Hmm. I don't I, know. Yeah, that could be it. Is he going to go for the heavy bullet play? I don't know. <laughs> Well, the Cabalion's going to go down. That's for sure. He has a switch in his hand. He can just... Hammerhead. Hammerhead and then get more damage on the field. Ooh, he's got scramble switch, too. Yeah, maybe... Uh, maybe he can just, like... Oh, we have another Garbodor. Though, the Kling Kling would still knock out the Garbodor. <laughs> yeah. Both of them. On the heads. Um... Uh, I just don't think Michael has enough time to attach energy to that thing. It takes three to attack. He can't shift gear. Uh, mm -hmm. He's only got one on there. He's, his active's going to get knocked out. What does he do? Um, Unless he I plays Switch. That would be uh, his really only way. You know, promote that other cling cling. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Attach, and you have to pass. 
And then you could switch and go for the big steel bullet play. Maybe he's just or gonna heavy bullet. I think. Yeah, heavy. <laughs> you just go for the something bullet. <laughs> I guess you just go for plasma clang here, and then yeah, he ha he's just all in with us. I guess so. Uh, he's just gonna promote it. Uh, attach, and he does have an N. So, that's just what it's gonna come down to. He's gonna end Casey down to two cards. Maybe he can Cross make something fingers. work. If he draws like a catcher, catch up the Garbodor, the one with Reasonable, thirty on it, yeah. and then uh, just go for steel bullets. You gotta wonder how many catchers he has left. Uh, he's played two already, I think. Clink Probably clinks. like maybe one more. Yeah, Kling Kling's a deck where you can't always fit those four catchers that you would like to have. You've seen, well, there's one guy, the guy I was supposed to play, didn't play any in his deck. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, wow. I don't know. Maybe he runs two, he could run three, he can run four. Any number is reasonable, considering the kind of deck space you need when making this stage two deck. Just considering Max Potion here, uh, he would... He would have he would max push in the dark ride, but that would get rid of his third prism energy. Yeah. Which would effectively give him no free retreating. And I think he's just kind of accepted the fa that fact. Yeah, I mean he could always rush him with Kaldu and just attack with that. Yeah. So that's not that big of a deal. Uh, he should probably bench the Kaldio here and end and hope for the best. If he has a catcher left, that's got to be his plan. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's a long shot, but. Things, you can make things work. <laughs> I've seen crazier things, yep. Yeah, so. Oh, tough call. Yeah, I think he's just wondering what he should play down before the end. Uh, he just goes and, um, okay. I kind of like the Kel playing Keldia before that, but maybe it'll work out. Maybe he'll just redraw it or something. Right. So here we go. He's going to have to go for that big play. Catcher up the Garbodor with 30 on it. He needs heads on the heavy bullet to do 20 to knock out the other Garbodor, and then yeah, he, he'll have a shot. He can't even do it until next turn, too. Yeah. I so. mean, a lot of things have to go right for Michael at this point. Oh, yeah. But the board is set up for things to go right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess. Crazier stuff has happened. He's going to take his four. Uh, I don't oh, there's the Keldeo. Yeah, I don't see a catcher. No, Maybe but that's okay. Uh, he's only going to take 30 damage this turn. True. So that's Ooh. something he can live with, and oh, this is huge. that might be the end of the game. Yeah. If, if Michael doesn't play Switch, it's game over. Yeah, it, 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 it's just go he's just done. Uh, if, he, if there's no Switch in the deck, then really realistically what Michael needs to do is just... Uh, Scoop, scoop, yeah, and just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just go for game two and just hope for a better draw. Pretty much, that's where we are right now. His abilities are shut off if he doesn't play switch, and he loses. Mm -hmm. If he does, he's still got a shot here, though. Well, he's gonna look through his deck. A catcher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does Juniper is away at Keldeo. All right, here we go. Drawing his seven. I don't think he plays switch. I don't either. But I think this is kind of like an act to be like, I, if you scoop here, then you just tell your opponent, I don't play switch. You give him information. Right. So with 75 minutes, there's no reason to really scoop. You have plenty of time. So I don't know if this still leaves it like open you don't know you don't reveal too much information you still could run switch your opponent doesn't know oh what do you think of this oh, it's too late now that he attached to the dark eye but what he could have done was attach to the clink clang right let dark eye take another 60 damage max potion attach to dark eye next turn attach to dark eye retreat and clink clang something the garbodors yeah he could still pull this off it's not over completely He's going to need that max potion here, that's for sure. He's going to catch her up Garbodor with the 30 on it. Mm -hmm. Does he have enough energy left to pull this off, though? Uh, maybe. He needs two more energy. He has one in his hand. 
He just needs another one in his deck. He does have There's it. one left. <laughs> but he only has like four cards left in his deck. Yeah. And he discarded his other Keldeo. That could be the thing that ends up costing him this match. Yeah. Uh, well, he does have a catcher left. And that Mewtwo is at uh, 90 damage. Yeah, but can't knock that out. Oh, oh we have another catcher from Casey. Uh, but he passes. And, and Michael passes <laughs> in case he draws. Casey's like, ah, I don't need the process issue. Yeah. And and right. He's got another energy. He can retreat. Oh, he doesn't he retreat. He chooses though. not to. He chooses to... Oh, he's waiting for the max potion. Okay. So there we go. Retreat, max potion. This is a huge flip. If he can get heads here. And he got it. Double knockout yeah. on Garbodor's. Heavy bullet coming in. However, uh, doesn't Casey have a catcher? He does, but the max potion... Just does 300 to a dark rye. Oh, if he has another energy, yeah. yeah. Uh, the rescue scarves activate. Does he have an energy? Yeah, probably. He did not last turn. <laughs> His hand is deceptively large. Yeah, I, I can't really tell. <laughs> um, however... He got rid of that Keldeo. Yeah, I, I think uh, that's going to cost him the game, I think. He had everything he needed to win. But uh, he well, okay, okay, maybe. Uh, okay, I, I got the game plan here. <laughs> well, it doesn't even work because he, uh, right, he doesn't a have a prism energy. Cake and Michael scoops. Didn't even wait for the energy attachment. Well, he, he knew he couldn't retreat his Dark Rye anyway. He didn't have enough energy left. Yeah, I guess the person was prized. Looks um, like it. Uh, and Casey will take game number one. But man, if Michael didn't discard that Keldeo, he actually would have won that game. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Maybe an oversight by him. Uh, hard to tell. You don't know what, what would have happened. but. Well, we know what would have happened, but <laughs> hard to see what... <laughs> Hard, I guess it's hard to see that you would need Keldeo versus the Landorus. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, but that was uh, that was close, even though he did discard his dowsing machine early on. Who knows? If he it's a if it's a full game where he gets to play both the tool scrapper and the dowsing machine, mm -hmm. maybe he can end up winning this matchup. Yeah, I mean Sometimes you just need to save your dowsing machines for the card that lets you win games against Garbodor, or Tool Scrapper. You yeah. Know, uh, the reason why like Darkrai decks only play one is because they can just junk hunt it back. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with, what Dowsing Machine does, it lets you like like cut corners with your deck list almost. Yeah. So Dowsing Machine is Dowsing Machine and Tool Scrapper is really going to be the two card combo. Yeah. Combo with like big quotation marks. That's really going to help uh, Michael pull through this matchup. Yeah, we saw some Players feature the Durant with pullout. They could allow you to get a card back. That might be nice to get back a tool scrapper and eventually run the player out of tools. And then you could win that way, but it doesn't look like Michael runs that. So he's just going to be limited to his one tool scrapper and one dowsing machine. Yeah, well, all right, let's just see who, who he starts with and, and how well he does. Yep. Well, Got we just see a mulligan first yep. off. So and Michael does get an extra card. He has a he has a turn one energy attachment this turn this time too. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's uh, it's probably the biggest advantage to going first here, getting that first energy attachment. So let's see, what have you learned if you're Casey about Michael Suck? Uh, I don't think he plays Switch. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's some big information to know actually, because once Garbodor is there and locks everything. Once the tool scrapper and the dowsing machine are gone, you pretty much win. You just mm -hmm. you bring up something with a high retreat cost and it's stuck. It's kind of the same problem Blastoise has against Garbodor. Once, you know, a Garbotoxin is in effect, it just locks you in place because these decks are relying so much on Caldeo to rush in. So we see Ultra Ball. He has a rare candy in his hand. Um... It looks like he's gonna ha he's gonna get rid of the juniper and a maybe uh, max potion. Max potion. It's a big card to discard on the first turn, but 
pick two cards, but I think he's going to want to end this turn because he, he he can't discard his uh, energies. And does he? He has a rare candy and a shift gear cling cling in his hand. Mm -hmm. Maybe he wants to hold on to the hand, but nope. Never mind. He gets the Cobolian. Um, I think that's an interesting choice. Uh, hmm. Maybe you would want to get another Clink. Yeah. Maybe you would want to get another a Dark Rye or Keldeo. But Cobolian, I don't know. Uh, maybe he's just afraid of a Mewtwo that with a DCE or a Tornadus with DCE or something. Yeah, I don't know. That's definitely a possibility where Casey could knock out that Clink turn one with Laser and Burbank. He would need a ton of cards to pull that off, though. Yeah. Uh, he gets a Keldeo and just rushes in anyway. So and Tropical, Tropical Beach. Beach. And a tool scrapper. <laughs> and that's it when he needs it. Yeah. All right, so Casey is going to play a level ball. So that will allow him to search for another Trubbish that's big. You need to get two in play to make sure just your one doesn't get knocked out. Mm -hmm. So you can always have that Garbodor ready. Uh, if, if Michael can get access to abilities, obviously he's going to win. I mean, he's got Keldeo. He's got the shift gear, cling, cling. Plasma steals is the big thing. It shuts off every attacker Casey has. But when Garbodor is out there, that that uh, overpowers you. Yeah, and because he only has one clink in play, he's, he might have trouble like getting your Caldeo to attack right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, this is this could get into a. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter because he has Beach. But yeah, that's true. <laughs> that could have been like. Yeah. Will he remember to use beach? Garbage collection. <laughs> garbage collection. All colors down to three. A garbage collection for Colrus. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll probably see a tropical beach, though. And once again, Casey has a shaky opening, but Michael's beach is saving him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beach is really like a double. It's really double edge, yeah. and we're seeing it here. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it helps your opponent, too. Yeah, you definitely need it in the Clink Clang deck. It's a stage 2 deck. You're never really doing anything in your first turn. Mm -hmm. You could Righteous Edge with Cabellion X, but you would rather just draw up to 7 cards and then get your turn to Clink Clang. So, um, definitely need to play it. He needed it there, but here's an N. Unfortunately for him, it's working against him in two games in a row. He puts the Plasma on the Cobalion. Um... Interesting choice. Yeah. Now, if you're Michael, what do you prioritize more, the shift gear cling cling or the plasma steel one? I think you have to uh, prioritize uh, shift gear. Yeah. Um, your your deck is really a traditional cling cling deck, so it's really the plasma cling cling is just kind of there for flavor, almost. Kind of. Uh, you re what you're really doing is just moving your energies around. You're really just like a Hydreigon deck with just like safeguard on all your important guys. Right. So. All right, so we do have a turn two Garbodor with the Rescue Scarf. That's uh, bad news for Michael. Yeah, that's bad news bears. <laughs> so, yeah. uh. See if Casey can follow this up with an energy and an attack. He does have a shift gear clink clang in his hand. And does he have a rare candy? I don't think so. Well, we have a laser. It's going to poison this Keldeo. There's no Verbank in play yet. <coughs> but he's playing a switch here. Uh, I think this might be a sign that he's going to beach again. Or Juniper. <laughs> Never mind. So he's just going to try to get this Landers online. Get, get his prizes into play on the board. And then, yeah, just kind of uh, hammerhead his way to victory. It's There's nothing really this... Clang Clang deck can do until maybe he until he gets a shift here Clang Clang out. That's really what it is. Yeah, Casey's in a very dominant position at this point. He's got the Garbodor before Michael could really power up an attacker. Uh, we do see two heavy balls coming out here. Really just needs to get a Clang and a Clink. Pretty much. I mean, it's going to... This might be kind of a game where, oh, he fails both. He got one. He got one. Oh, he clank. got a clink. Okay. But he fails the clank search. That's pretty big. 
which uh, means that Clink's going to get knocked out with the energy on it, too. Yeah. He's going to max potion off his Keldeo and attach to Cabalion EX on the bench. Juniper is away. Ooh, uh, Prism shift and gear. a Shift Gear Clink Clang. Does it's he a play rare candy, though. Gets the Plasma Clink Clang. And a Heavy Ball. And, and a Tool Scrapper, by the way. Wow. Uh, you know, <laughs> when things run right, they really go well, don't they? Indeed, they do. Uh, he even has a Skylo for Dowsing Machine. Yeah, Tool Scrapper. Now, if you're Michael, do you just take out the Landorus, or do you catch her that Garbodor here? Oh, you just take out Landorus. You know you have that. You know you have that Dowsy machine. <laughs> you're just you're just going for you're just going for blood here. All right, so he takes out the Landorus, takes his two prizes. Here comes Mewtwo. Because like, even if uh, he attaches another tool, if he doesn't get a second Garbodor out, you can just catch her. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, there is a rescue scarf. The problem for Michael is going to be. That situation I described before where if, you know, he could dowsing machine, get the tool scrapper back, discard that tool. But if that Garbodor gets one more tool, then he can't retreat anything anymore. Yeah. That Kling Kling is just stuck there with a three retreat cost. It's not going anywhere. Can't shift energy anymore. He's going to be in a terrible position. Landris's hammerhead could just pick off bench Pokemon all day long. And we're going to see uh, a Mewtwo really get in there. Yeah, this is kind of the same exchange we had in the first game. Michael did not come out ahead in the first game. <laughs> well, maybe this game's different. Yep, we have Skyla. Skyla for Dowsing Machine. Let's go. I Actually, guess. No, Skyla for Catcher. He does have a Catcher in hand already. You go for Catcher here. You, you just knock out the Garbodor, I think. Yeah, that's an option, but uh, yeah, I guess. Actually, I don't even like the Skyla this turn. <laughs> I would have end, I think. He's given KT six cards. Yeah, but you're also just getting destroyed. Yeah, it's not a very good situation no matter what. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, once his Garbodor got another tool, well, he really I just had to hope that that didn't happen. Maybe there won't be another tool. Yeah, so we, we will have a dowsing machine. I think he's going to go for that. Um, Get rid of a plasma clang, yeah. Yeah, he's going to go for the tool scrapper. It is. It allows you to get back any trainer mm -hmm. card. So he's going to grab tool scrapper, discard the rescue scarf off of Garbodor. Uh, now he can shift gear again. He's going to catch her off the Garbodor. I like that. What do you that. think about that? You like it? Yeah. Uh, he's kind of he, he knows his Keldeo isn't long for this world. Yeah. But he knows I I stopped the Garbodor. Maybe a second one will not come down. Yeah. It's going to be close. He, he just really has to hope that Casey does not get another Garbodor with the tool the rest of the game. Uh, it could happen. Uh players have kind of been skimping on the Garbodor line in their decks. Mm -hmm. Personally, I ran like a 3-2 line, so maybe there's only one Garbodor left in his deck. I've seen some people go as low as 2-2, two -two, so it might not happen. He might not get another one into play. That's what Michael has to hope for here. Yeah. And let's see if he, if he gets the Garbodor out, I think. Well, yeah, the game's pretty much done, almost. Yeah, if he gets that in a tool, you gotta think. Yeah. Just with catchers, you'll be able to kind of manipulate things to the point where you'll end up winning. But He's also out of energy at this point, too. Yeah, but he will send up Cabalion EX. He can Righteous Edge. Uh, oh, he's going to max Potion. Yeah, he max, but there's some damage on the Clang Clang. Might as well just get it off. I okay. think he's going to Juniper this turn, it looks like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if he has that, then might as well. So here we go. He's going to go for the Righteous Edge, I'm sure. Discard mm -hmm. that DCE. We have a rare candy. Well, it gets both Clang Clangs out. That's big, actually. It shuts off Mewtwo from hitting him. Oh, yeah. If and Casey does not get a Garbodor out. It's huge. So it's just coming down to this at this point. Does Casey ever get Garbodor with a tool back into play? There's one Garbodor in the discard pile. There's two tools in the discard pile. Can he pull it off? He does have a dowsing machine in his hand, it looks like. He has a tool, and Garbodor's in the deck, then he'll be fine. Yeah. What is he going to do here? 
I mean, if he gets it out, I think Michael's tournament might be over. Uh, we yeah. do see a Skyla. He's going to take a look through the deck. Is there another Garbodor? There's a heavy ball. Looks like he's going for it. Yes. All right. So now we're just going to... Yeah, this is... This is a bad matchup. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is a pretty bad matchup, I would say. Especially since he doesn't run Switch. If he did, it might be a little different. But obviously he doesn't based on the first game. There is the Dowsing Machine. It's going to discard an Energy Search. And maybe it energy. doesn't matter. As long as he gets a tool back, he puts it on Garbodor. He pretty much wins. The only way Michael can come back at that point is if Casey doesn't catch or something out. And if he loads three energy on the Cabalion, catches out the Garbodor, knocks it out. Yeah, unless there's a giant cape. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the only two tools are Rescue Scarf, so. Gonna grab it. That's the Rescue Scarf. So both players running Dowsing Machine. Don't see that too often. But. No, uh, generally Computer Search is deemed uh, generally better. But yeah. there's some cases where uh, Dowsing Machine has its uses. Yep, so Michael needs to attach the energy this turn. He plays an end there. He could have benched a clink there, decided not to. Yeah, no really need. Yeah, well, he went thinny deck out by a card to draw an energy maybe, but eh. that's just... Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, cause at this point, you lose to a catcher. Yeah, but we'll see if he draws an energy and keeps his hopes alive here. Looks like... Nope. At this point... Yeah, you just saw... Uh, Tropical Beach. Tropical Beach, yeah, probably. <laughs> no, it looks like he just attacked. Did he? I think okay. so. Uh, uh, he hasn't done maybe, anything yet. Maybe. Seeing as, uh, thinking his options over of whether to Tropical Beach and draw a bunch of cards or do 30. Ops for the 230. Okay. What do you think of this move? Uh, It depends on what's in his hand. If he doesn't have much... You should probably just go for the beach here. And y your only way of winning at this point is going to be catch up Garbodor and cross your fingers. Yeah, I mean, here comes the laser, a Mewtwo. And, uh. This is. <laughs> Juniper. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> at this point, it does look like Casey is in a very large lead. Uh, there's the Burbank as well. X ball's pretty good. Garbodor is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Kling Kling is not very good when the EXs can hit you because Cabalion is just, it's not as good as the other ones. It's really not. When you, you stack up a Cabalion against a Landris, it's like, who wins? The guy who does 150 or the guy who does 100? I mean, Cabalion saving grace is really just the color of the card. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, and we do see him stay asleep on the laser. Uh oh. Well. Maybe he can... He's going to Skyla, probably... All right, he's going to take a max potion. If he doesn't have any catchers left, you got to think this is just completely over. Yeah, I don't see much that he can do. I mean, sure, he can catch up the Garbodor. Maybe something... Maybe make something happen slowly, but... Fortunately, he does have another Tropical Beach. And he should probably bench that other Cabalion, and looks like he decides not to. He's going to just draw five with the beach. Take 10 from Poison and see if he wakes up. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we'll just call it Tails. <laughs> so, uh... I don't even think Casey cares at this point, because he's probably thinking, all right, moving on to the finals. I would be thinking that, too. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, uh, they did do it. you landed your Garbodor down. You took out all his energy. Oof, we have an end to like, reset Michael's hand after there was that two tropical beach. There were two points to what work Casey needed to do, and he nailed them both. Right, yeah. It really just comes down to whether or not you can get those tools at the right time. And he did. So that's pretty much the matchup in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. If maybe Michael had a max potion to go with the tool scrapper on the second one. Right. To keep it his Keldeo alive. Yeah, but since that didn't happen, we're just kind of just kind of watching a Cabalion get mold to death by a Mewtwo. <laughs> All right, so 
I guess he's going to... He attaches to the shift gear Kling Kling. He's going to count, see how many cards are left in his deck. He has a Juniper and a Skyla. Wow. Huh? What is your... What is an even game plan you can come up with at this point? Uh, well, for me personally, the game plan would be to maybe look at the situation and then look at it some more. <laughs> uh, we do see Casey Skylas for the yeah. Verbank kicks out the Tropical Beach. Now that Cabalion's going to have a much speedier death, taking 30 per turn from Poison. I would then be cursing myself on not why I don't not play my own Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, uh, there's just not much you can do at this point. Probably cursing your luck that you got this matchup. Yeah, so like you, you know, you come off a top eight mat win, and then you're in the top four. You're like, yeah, I just won. Who am I playing against? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, he counters the Verbank back. He's got three Tropical Beach in this deck. Yeah, I think I think that's a pretty solid number for gems right now. Yeah, so he game. he will survive now. He won't die going into Casey's turn. I don't think he had to worry about that anyway. But I'm pretty sure Casey doesn't really mind either way. Yeah, we'll see what Casey does here now. Bear with me, but there is like a super small percentage of a chance that Michael can still win. He's powering up that gear grinder. If he flips two heads, he could knock out Mewtwo. Yeah, you know, there oh, is always that catcher. chance of uh, him doing that. Uh, but that catcher is probably going to seal that up. Uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe Casey won't hammerhead five <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could hope for that. But we know Michael doesn't play Switch. Tool Scrapper, Dowsing Machine, both gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I mean, there are things that could maybe happen, like, oh, no, Casey, saw it. <laughs> You're going to say, what, if he X-Balls? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Well, I mean, what if he land Judgment and <laughs> discards all his energy? Uh, I mean, yeah, if he plays a Tool Scrapper and discards his own tools, then maybe. I think you're a genius, Kyle. <laughs> That's one way that Michael could still win. Uh, so Casey will hammerhead knock out the benched Cabalion EX. Did have 150 on it already. Well, this is one of the ways where it could have went down. Uh, well, uh, what do you do here if you're Michael? Nah, uh, you're pretty much packing up your bags, ready to go home here. He's playing a Juniper. There can't be too many cards left. Well, I mean, it is always cool to deck yourself. <laughs> He's going to attach to the active. I guess it will take a while to get knocked out. I don't know. He's got a catcher. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he can just land judgment at any given time. <laughs> we'll see, all right? He doesn't even have to discard. He's going to put a scarf on the Mewtwo. Um, Laser. That's going to speed up the death process. Yeah. A little bit, and, the, and and this is where like his chance of survival can come from. The clink clink just gets knocked out too fast. <laughs> so and then Casey doesn't draw an energy. That would be his way. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then and then you just you just wait for it, and then you gear grind <laughs> for a lot. Yep. Uh, looks like he's attaching to the active and passing. Here we go. He's just gonna go up to 80 hit points, I think. Yep. Or 80 damage on there. Leaving him with 60 left. Um, okay. Oh, what if Casey just decks? He's got too many cards left. And Michael just concedes. He realizes he can't do anything anymore. And Casey Smith's going to take a convincing 2-0 victory and head to the finals here at the Wisconsin Regional Championship. Yeah. Um, pretty uh, one-sided series. But, you know, we kind of... Once Garbodor came down and kind of laid down the law, there isn't really clink, much Clink Clank can do. Pretty much. It's just a bad matchup. I mean, that exists in Pokemon with mm -hmm. 
I think Kling Kling's kind of the deck where that's the biggest thing. You either win or you lose. Like, it, there's no middle ground. You, you pretty much get destroyed or they can't do anything against you. Yeah, I mean, there's some times where you can pull off a really, really scrappy game. Yeah. But those are against decks like Big Basics, uh, Darkrai, not against Garbodor. Yeah. So, we will have Casey moving on to the finals. We're going to have a Clang Clang deck on one side. We'll have to wait to see what the other deck is. We have Isaiah and Adam. Uh, I think Casey's probably going to be hoping for the Darkrai deck. Yeah. I mean, you don't... You don't. You definitely don't want to go up against big basics. Yeah. You don't. You do not want to play against the king of lasers. <laughs> yeah. The king so, of lasers with three max potions. That's not good. Uh, I mean, we all saw what happened to you. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, Thanks for the reminder. It's okay. I'll bring it up as much <laughs> as I can. But all um, right. Yeah. Well, got anything else to say before we head into the finals? Well, uh, I'm excited to see who uh, our Garbodor deck is going to go up against. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys there. Yeah, congrats to Michael for a top four finish. This was a big accomplishment. And for Casey for moving on to the finals. But we'll have the conclusion of this tournament soon. We'll be back.